Chemicals are all around us. We interact with chemicals all day, from soap during a morning shower, vegetable oil cooking breakfast, fuel getting to work, and plastic and metal electronic devices throughout the day. The very air we breathe and water we drink is composed of complex mixtures of chemicals. Chemists design fuels, plastics, soaps, and medicines that enrich the human experience. As a green chemist, I hope to make the production and use of chemicals more safe, efficient, and sustainable. Today, over 95% of chemicals are produced from petroleum. Instead, I want to be able to make chemicals using biomass as a feedstock. From biomass, we can drive substances such as carbohydrates, which can be converted using chemical reactions into more pure and useful products. As a green chemist, my focus is on starting um, with these biomass-derived molecules um, and finding new catalysts for conversion of them into fu fuels. Um, both of these molecules, the furans and the alcohols, have potential fuel value um, and could be used as biofuels, but that value is undermined by problems um, on both parts. The furans have problems with toxicity, even though they have ideal fuel properties. The alcohols, while they are non-toxic, um, can lead to things like engine rust and don't have as high an energy content, so have lower fuel value. By combining these two together, um, I hope to obtain new chemical architectures that are both safe and non-toxic. This is what my research lab looks like. I run reactions in parallel. I'm in these 92x dual plates, or a smaller version, where I can run many reactions simultaneously. This maximizes the potential of getting results. Here was actually a recently completed reaction. We can see those chemicals left in the little vials. After I run the reactions, I use a machine like this, a GCMS, gas chromatograph mass spectrometer, uh, which basically helps me identify what I've produced in the reaction. So I, I have some initial results. Um, I've successfully produced um, chemicals derived from alcohols and furans that may have value for the applications we've discussed. Um, right now I'm working on further characterizing these compounds and sending them to my colleagues in toxicology. In this interdisciplinary effort, I want to make sure that what I'm making um, is either non-toxic or that I understand the toxicology challenges associated with my chemical products. My project is part of a larger interdisciplinary research effort at Berkeley. Through this teamwork, we hope to more efficiently translate new discoveries into products and processes that will help human health and the economy. Stay tuned for new biofuels.